You guess that near the mess in Don't talk to me. This here thing of sleeping in jail is bad for you. You don't hate to do it no worse than I do, though. We ought to figure some way of getting out of here. I wish we could get out. I want some water. I'll order the man to bring us some water. I want some cigarettes, too. We is all out of cigarettes. The man ain't gonna give us no cigarettes. Well, holler out there and ask the man to bring us some water. Hey, mister. Mr. Jailer. Oh, Mr. Jailer. Bring us some water, will you, please? Oh, Mr. Jailer. Pipe down. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I shut up. Somebody hollered pipe down. That wasn't the jailer that hollered that. That was somebody over in another cell over there. I bet you they got some tough men down here. They gotta be tough to stay here. I say you gotta be tough to stay here. I wish we could get out of here. That's what I want to do. It is Sunday. We ought to be out riding in the automobile, getting the fresh air. Instead of that, here we is in jail. Hmm? I was just thinking here, that law that we joined, the Mystic Knights of the Sea, they ought to do something for us. We ought to let them know that we is in jail. If them brothers know that we was in jail, they'd come down here and try to borrow money from us. I guess you right. But the bylaws of the law say that they are supposed to help us. That Mystic Knights of the Sea is no good. I believe, though, that uh, if we could get uh, to the officers of the law, they might do something for us. They've been trying to get to us ever since we've been in the thing. You just think of being in jail suddenly was bad, ain't it? Yeah, it's worse than that. I don't see what nobody wants to get in trouble for. Come down here and they lock you up. There's plenty of them down here, though. Some of them is here for a year, five years, and everything else. Yeah, if you ever do anything wrong, you gotta pay for it sooner or later. People are afraid to do things wrong, ain't they? Well, I'm gonna take a little nap here now. Don't talk to me no more. I gotta rest up while I... Wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Here come the jail man now. I asked him for some water. I don't want no water now. Don't ask him. Let him go by. Hello, mister. Hello. I got a couple of letters here for you, boys. A couple of letters, I uh, hand them here, will you? Stick them right through the board, see, sir. Thank you, mister. Thank you, sir. Who is the letters for, me or you? Uh, wait, look, wait, look here, both of them is just to me. Uh, they done been opened, too. Look here, somebody done opened them. Yeah, that's another thing they do at jail that I don't like. Let's see who these here things are from. Read them to me. What did it say? This here one starts out and says, Dear Mr. Amos. Dear Mr. Amos. Look down at the bottom, see who signed the thing. Well, look here, this, this here one is signed by Sylvester. Well, I've been doggone. Read it to me, what do it say? It say, uh, dear Mr. Amos, I read in the paper that you and Mr. Andy were arrested, and I tried to get in there to see you, but the man would not let me in. Well. You can't even have people to call on you down here, can you? Well, that certainly was nice of them to come down here anyway, wasn't it? Well, read on. What else do it say? It says, uh, uh, I know you is not done nothing wrong, and everything will come out all right. Well, that, that, that don't sound so bad, do it? That's all right to be on the outside saying that. But when you inside here, that's a different thing. Wait a minute now. Uh, did Dennis say here, as soon as I saw your name in the, in the, uh, what is this word? Look at it. Let me see it. Let me see it. What is that word? Did you got to figure it out? I got it. I got it. That's paper. Oh, yeah, that's right. Give it back. Let me read it now. Go ahead. As soon as I saw your name in the paper, I went to see your landlord, and he told me everything he could. Why don't the landlord come down here and help us? Wait a minute. Then they say, 
I saw your taxi cab sitting out in front of the house, so I had it put in the garage. Well, well, that's, that, that's the only thing that he's done done that's any good. He's showing some signs of sense now. Then it say here, if you gentlemen want me to run the taxi cab while you is in jail, I will be glad to do it, and you can pay me whatever you want to. Well, maybe we can make some money while we is here. Well, Phil Gunther could, could take the cab out. He might be able to make some money for us. What else do we say in the letter? It says, uh, all of your friends is sorry to hear that you is in jail. Everybody is pulling for you. Then he signs it, your friend Sylvester. Say they's all pulling for it, huh? Mm-hmm. They want to see us stay here or something. Well, that was nice of him to write the letter, wasn't it? Well, who is the other one from? Wait till I get it open. That is nice to get a letter when you was in jail. Mm-hmm. It, it makes you feel good, don't it? Well, who is the letter from? Well, I've been doggone. Here's a letter from Ruby Taylor. Uh-huh. Now you got one. Read me that one. Go ahead. She starts out here and she say, uh, my dear Amos. What's that line again? She say, my dear Amos. My dear Amos. Uh-huh. That sounds bad. How long have you been her, dear Amos? I thought you was in love with Mamie. I is in love with Mamie. Well, Ruby Taylor just happened to start it out that way. So my dear Amos, that's all. Well, don't argue with me now. Go ahead. Read the letter. She said, my dear Amos, I was indeed sorry to hear of you two boys being held by the police. Wait a minute. Read that line again. That made me mad. What was that? She said, my dear Amos. Don't read that no more. Read the rest of it. Oh, wait a minute. Excuse me now. Wait a minute. I was indeed sorry to hear of you two boys being held by the police. Oh, that's different. Go ahead, read the rest of it. He says, I know that you are not uh, guilty, and I hope the police will be able to catch the robber. Now, there's a gal that's trying to make fun of you just because you're in jail. No, she ain't nothing of the kind. Now, wait a minute. Well, go ahead. Read me what else she say. Then she say here, the newspaper say that the pawn shop was robbed of more than... Well, wait a minute. Now, wait a minute. Let me figure this out. That's one, o o o comma, o o o. That's a hundred thousand. I know what that is. I done read that in the paper. That's right, a hundred thousand dollars. Then she goes on to say, and I know you well enough that you would not do anything like that. How does she know what you do? Well, that that shows you that she believes in me. Go ahead, go ahead, read the letter. Then she says, I had a long talk with father. Wait a minute now, wait a minute. Let me sit up to hear this, wait a minute. That, 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 that sounds good. Now, wait a minute. Go ahead. I had a long talk with his father, and he said that he would go your barn. Uh -huh. We'll talk to him again tonight and see what we can do. Always Ruby Taylor. Mm-mm. Ain't that something? Boy, you now you is talking business. We're yes, in the jailhouse now, but it won't be long. Oh, me. I think we're going to get out of here.